Hey footy fans, just thought I'd quickly um, do this recap, taking a look back on the Easter round of football, because round four, which is gather round, is fast approaching. Uh, let's just quickly go through the results. So we had the Pies getting their first win of the season, beating the Lions. The Lions still winless, very concerning uh, for Chris Fagan and his side, but obviously there is still time. It's Still early days in the season. On Good Friday, well, wasn't the best result for North Melbourne as they were feeling the blues after this one, losing to Carlton, 81 to 137. Elijah Holland's absolutely loving it alongside his brother in the Carlton kit. He had one goal, 22 disposals. Um, what a game from Elijah Holland's and the Carlton Football Club. I know some calls, um, you know, with holding the man for Mackay and Kerno, etc., and people were complaining about that but even though yeah some might have been wrong and some might have been um you know unlucky for North Melbourne I still think Carlton would have got the win uh, they're a powerhouse side taking nothing away from North Melbourne we had some great efforts we stayed in the contest at times we we're getting some good goals and moving the ball really well but unfortunately um it's another loss on another good Friday for us just quick shout out to the Royal Children's Hospital and to all who donated for the Good Friday appeal. It's absolutely sensational to see that. Um, so thanks to everyone out there uh, who donated to such a beautiful cause. Still on Good Friday, we had uh, Frio who beat the Crows. Uh, Frio absolutely loving this season so far. They are undefeated and um you know, that top of the table. So they're really hoping to stay there throughout the rest of the season. On Saturday, the Bombers beat the Saints in a very close one. Um, you know, we had Jake Stringer kicking a goal just outside of 50 for an Easter special. And um, he got his team over the line, gave them their first lead of the game, and the Bombers held on. For the Saints, they had a couple outs. Liam Henry, Max King, and the Bombers just did enough to get over the line. Then we had Port Adelaide losing to the Demons, 89-96. to A very close contest at Adelaide Oval. The Demons hold on. And boy, oh boy, what a game. And what a win on the road for the Melbourne Demons. They've still got it. That's what that game really highlighted to me. And for Port Adelaide, unfortunate for them just falling short and losing a bit of control late in that fourth quarter. On Sunday, the Dogs beat the Eagles quite comfortably, 106 to 30. That was expected for most of us. Uh, so a Easter Easter Sunday treat for those doggy supporters, and a Easter Sunday treat for those Tigers supporters. What a win for the Tigers! 82 to 77, beating the Sydney Swans. The Tigers were focused. They were determined. They were missing um, a couple of stars heading into this game, and a couple of their stars got injured within this game, like Tom Lynch, uh, you know, and a couple others, uh, Noah Bolter as well. It's a real shame for the Tigers having those players getting injured, but still, what a victory. And it's because they were so focused, working as a team, they wanted it. And the Swans, they had some opportunities which weren't begging. At times during this game, it was, you know, uh, one Sydney Swans player would have a kick, it would go to a Richmond player. A Richmond player have a kick, go to a Swans player. So a few mistakes by both sides a couple of times throughout this game, but mostly what was the clear highlight was the Tigers, um, you know, hunger and um, just their intensity around the football. High-pressure game, which we definitely saw from them in that second half. So what a win by um, Adam Uze's side. On Monday, we had the iconic clash between the Hawks and the Cats, a rivalry like no other. The Hawks losing 70 to 106. This game was delayed due to lightning in the area. And then in wet conditions, the game finally uh, resumed and uh, the Cats got the job done in Tom Hawkins' 350th game. The Tomahawk had a stellar game in his milestone. Uh, and, you know, the Cats had some great moments. But I love the Hawks' efforts. At times, they looked in the contest. They looked like they could pull off a comeback. They didn't go away. And I really like that about the Hawks. So well done to the Hawks on their efforts, taking nothing away from the Cats. They've had a, you know, a real decent start to their year and uh, another win for them. Folks, let's head into Isaac's GMP of the round, the Easter round of football. Starting off with my goal of the round, it goes to um, Dan Houston from the Port Adelaide Football Club. We know he's got a great kick on him, a powerful kick, and his accuracy is just brilliant. Um, to see him wind up on that right boot, 55 metres out or so, and absolutely nail it, 
a, a dead eye shot. Hit it to perfection, and I absolutely love those kicks from Dan Houston. So a great goal, um, which caught my eye. A mark which caught my eye. Well, it goes to a high flying hawk in Mitch Lewis. Bit of a quiet game at times from him, but this definitely was one for the highlight reel. Good elevation, bit of an awkward landing. It was great to see him get back up to his feet and keep his hands on the football. Bit of a pack mark, as I mentioned, was a bit awkward, but great to see him get back up, um, you know, really commit to the footy and uh, keep those mitts on it. My player of the round, a couple to choose from, but I ended up going with big Maxi Gorn, in, in which was a big win for the Demons on the road. Max Gorn, such a leader for this team, 50 hitouts, one goal, 20 disposals, six marks, one of those six contested. He had six clearances, one inside 50, eight score involvements, five tackles and 377 metres gained. That was absolutely a brilliant game from Matt Gorn. He's a leader for this pack and um, to, see him to see him really step up to the plate and be a rock for this team was sensational. Those 50 hitouts, he's serving it on a silver platter for his teammates. Yeah, and he's also helping out getting the ball forward. Those eight score involvements. He's not just a ruckman. He's a playmaker. He's smart with the football. And he makes the right decisions. So well done, Max Gorn. And well done to the Demons on that win. Uh, it was definitely, you know, one of the wins of the round for me. Gather round right around the corner. It's all in Adelaide. And um, they're absolutely loving it up there. It all starts Thursday night. The Crows and the D's to kick us off. I'm going with the D's by 16 points. I take nothing away from the Crows. I think there might be a little surprising effort which might scare the D's at times. Going to be a great round of football and as I mentioned, it's fast approaching. So get your tips in and um, as always, you got to love footy. If you like that recap, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below your thoughts on the previous round, and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, and for more of my content, make sure to follow my Facebook page and also my Instagram page. Plenty of more sports updates on there. Thank you.